Okay, so I'm back to filming from the carpet again because uh, the videos where I'm filming from the TV cabinet they tend to look, a lot of them tend to look too dark, way too dark really and I'm always disappointed with them so and like today it's quite a dark and gloomy outside so this video would look even darker if I was to film it from the TV cabinet so I'm back filming from the carpet again um, not sure why my videos turn out brighter when I'm filming from the carpet but there you go so I got this package today on it it says special not sure why and on the corner it says uh, Goods not fulfilling the conditions prescribed by Articles 9 and 10 of the Treaty Establishing the European Economic Community. I've got absolutely no idea what that means. I'll have to Google it. Um, so it kind of... See, why has it gone blurry now? I think the camera's focusing on the uh, on the carpet in the background. Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? So yeah, it kind of sounds as though it's been opened up by customs or something and they've not... It kind of sounds as though they've not approved of what's inside, but then surely if they if they if they've not approved of what's inside, then I wouldn't have received it. And it doesn't look like it's been opened by customs, so I don't know. Maybe the guy who sent this put the sticker on. Um, I don't know. But let's open this up. Um, yeah, I've had a, I've had a peek through the. Uh, you can't really see it now because it's not bright enough. But I've had a peek through this gap here. And it looks like an MF8 box, so I'm pretty sure that this should be the uh, the Star Minx one from Z Cube. So I'm having to open this up with a screwdriver because uh, my knife and scissors are downstairs again. I remember a video on YouTube of um, someone trying to open up up a package with a spoon. Can't remember whether they were that successful or not. I think they were. Maybe I should try that, sounds kind of funner. Um, so this should be the invoice. Let's make sure I'm in focus. So in this box we've got a Killer Minx, I've already got one of those. We've got a Star Minx, which is what should be inside. Hopefully it's the limited edition one. Um, MF8 9, 9cm double decahedron puzzle. Got a weird sticker on it there. Helicopter double decahedron. Yeah, I won't mind getting one of these in the, the limited edition green. They are quite hard to, to find though in that colour. So, um got stickers so I'm going to have to sticker it hopefully this is the one that's in limited edition ice blue hopefully they're not, they've not sent me a black one and indeed it is limited edition ice blue sorry that this camera keeps moving it's on a really flimsy tiny tripod balancing on some um, DVD cases there's the stickers. Here is the puzzle itself. Oh, that looks absolutely beautiful. Looks a lot better in real life than how it does in the pictures. It's kind of like looks more like a normal blue on camera, but in real life it's kind of it's it's kind of like a very slightly greenish blue. Maybe I think I think it's known as a petrol blue. Uh, you can see the MF8 logo. And this is a Star Minx one, so it turns by the corners like so. The Star Minx two, it turns among um, um, along these cuts. So it's um, I think it's a face turner. Um, have a look at these stickers. So we've got pink, orange, grey, 
uh, pastel yellow another I don't know whether that's orange or yellow it's kind of both white black green blue red purple lime and sky blue so uh, so you've got bas you basically got two sets of stickers there, which is cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, uh, sticker this, and then I'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, the puzzle is now stickered, and uh, this is a free stand which came with it. I didn't actually realise that there was a free stand with it when I unboxed it. Um, it was when I was throwing the actual packaging away. Um, I was just about to put it into the bin and I felt something kind of hard in the packaging and I thought maybe it's just a piece of cardboard or whatever um, like a piece of thick cardboard and I opened the packaging up and uh, I saw this in it so I almost uh, threw this free stand away. So um, I'll show you the colours on it. So I think this is just a, an absolutely beautiful looking puzzle. I decided to go with black instead of white because I thought black would look better on this puzzle over over white. And uh, this is quite a big dodecahedron. I'll show you how the size of it compares to a regular sized Mega Minx. So as you can see it is pretty big. And this is how it compares to a regular sized Rubik's Cube. 3x3. Three three. So yeah, the turning on this, I've I've turned it quite a lot and it's it's broken a it's broken a bit, but the turning on it is still quite stiff in places. Um, sometimes it will catch as well, especially when I'm turning these corners anti-clockwise. not actually happening now but it, it does happen on some corners I bet I won't be able to get it to happen now just because I'm making a video of it okay there you can see it's got stuck so um yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a bit of Maru lube to it and see if that improves it. It feels as though maybe the, the tensions are way too tight on this, but as you probably already know, I don't like to adjust the, uh, the tension on puzzles. So, um, I'll just give you a close look at it before I scramble it. Oops, too much. And yeah, these are uh, these Starminx ones in this limited edition ice blue are very rare. Um, there's only two places online that I know which uh, which sell them everywhere else. Um, all the other places that, that I've seen which sell puzzles, um, they don't sell them. So um, I read on HKNL store that MFA um, only did one production run of this um, because uh, um, they said something like it's it was too it cost too much to make a puzzle. Of this complexity in this, you know, in this um, transparent blue colour. So they've made plenty of black ones and white ones, but um, the only had one production run of this, and that was, um, I think, that, that was about three years ago or whatever. So um, these are pretty damned rare now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a scramble. So I think this is. Uh, 
related to the dino cube. I mean, the turning, it's not, I don't find that it's so bad that it ruins the fun of the puzzle. I mean, you've got to remember um, that a lot of puzzles, like this one, they're not meant to be speed cubes, they're not meant to turn really smoothly and quickly. You know, the... Um, you know, they're not meant to be used in speed keeping competitions, they're just meant to be, they're just normal puzzles, you know, they're, they're just for solving. Um, and when you remember that, you know, you don't get as disappointed then when you get a, a puzzle which doesn't turn um, that brilliantly. You know, and it, it, I think it probably will be very difficult to get a puzzle of this complexity to turn, like say, I don't know, a, a basic Sheng Shao three by three or something. But I would, I would still like to improve the turning, if I can do. Um, let's see. Is this scrambled enough? I'm not sure. I mean... Yeah, I mean, if, if, if the turning on a cube is so bad that it just feels unusable, then, you know, I can understand um, being disappointed with it. And not finding it fun to use at all. Yes, I think that will do actually. So that is a scrambled star minx. Thanks for watching.